The whole journey started 2018 when we were in 200 level. Who could have thought that I would go for NYS and get such a grant that we could use to start? Emados Farm is a, a, an agricultural firm that deals basically with the production of cereals and food and vegetables. The cereals we deal with include uh, maize and rice because the major staple foods in Nigeria are maize and rice. So people need a daily supply of those things. Now, the reason why we now went into vegetables is because we saw that no food is complete without adequate inclusion of vegetables in the food. So you cannot just uh, cook rice and boil rice and start eating it. You need vegetables. And vegetables, are uh, they have two categories, two main categories. We have the leafy vegetables and food vegetables. The uh, examples of the leafy vegetables are cabbage, uh, amaranthus, ugu, that's fruited pumpkin. And then examples of uh, um, uh, food vegetables are cucumber, watermelon, tomato, pepper. What we incorporate is that we use both um, organic and um, inorganic uh, methods. For instance, before we plant anything, we ensure that we put uh, the poultry manure into the soil. What that one will do is that it will continue to give them the necessary nutrients to the end of the cycle. It releases nutrients gradually. Another thing we do is bringing in our irrigation system because we observed that the rainfall pattern lately has not been favorable to farmers. So we brought in irrigation system so that we, we could have all year round production. Our customers gave us feedbacks because we were able to supply them even when nobody else is producing. We were able to produce in the dry season as well as in the rainy season. The funding allowed us to acquire several things that we need on the farm. For instance, we under, when we wanted to start, start out February, February is still dry season, so we needed a, an irrigation system that will help us to have products, that will help us to produce. So what we did was we went to the market, know the prices of drip, uh, drip tapes and also pumping machine and several other things that we need. So we used the fund to, part of the fund, to get the irrigation system in place. And not only that, the fund helped us to acquire, we plant hybrid seeds here, actually. So the fund helped us to acquire those hybrid seeds. After the grants, we sat together and said, okay, what can we call this idea? And then that's what gave birth to Emados Farms. For that time, I used to just uh, have this th thought that, what next after school? What am I going to do? What am I up to? And all those things. So, uh, 200 level, a lot happened. We had conferences in my faculty. Faculty of Agriculture. So at that conference, some uh, people that were invited, the uh, speakers, they really impacted me. They changed my perspective about agriculture. One particular one I can um, I remember vividly is a, is, a, is a northerner that came and said, what made us in the West think that it is only a northerner that should be rearing cattle? So that really affected my mindset that, okay, that means what they do there, we too can replicate the same here. When, when we now got to the orientation, orientation camp, I just got to the information from our platoon leader that there was going to be a debate, I mean a, uh, a competition, a business plan competition and all. Immediately, I volunteered. I said I was going to represent the platoon. I came towards to the glory of God. Getting that morning now, sending another message to us again that, oh, you guys, actually, you are, you are, you are, you are treading the right path. And we told ourselves we are converging on the 15th of January, which every one of us did. We actually came from wherever we were, and then we sat down together. We had a series of plans. Who do we need to meet to know how they are doing this? Do we need a mentor? Then we also look at the market visibility. They are my students. They were my students, the three of them really, but two more because two of them finished from my department, Beard and um, Sunday. Knowing who they are, at least the, the two of them more, and he most especially, integrity, quality, I was quite sure anything that comes out of there, I can trust. 
When he told me they, were st they started harvesting, I was very interested and I said I want to buy some. And they've been supplying. For every week, I request for. Once he tells me there's, a, there's harvest, I request for cucumber. The last time they brought a um, I got cucumber from them. For the first time, you know, at times you take cucumber and there's this bitter taste. There was nothing like that this time. It was sweet. The one that was brought to me was fresh. You know, most of the cucumber we get here, it's from the north. And spent days transportation and probably they would have had to use um, a lot of chemicals to preserve and everything. The taste is always very fresh and I, um, I can keep it for some time, it doesn't get spoiled. Then I have this confidence that, you know, sometimes I know where, where it's coming from. You know, sometimes we buy things, I'm not sure where it's coming from. From this, I know where it's coming from. When I started taking the cucumber, nutritionally, I feel better. You know, I, there's this way it hydrates my system. Cucumber being a vegetable, quite good for my digestion. Emados Farms has been able to impact our local community because we have been able to have a steady supply of our cucumbers and other fruit vegetables to the market. These are very young um, graduates coming up with things. They don't have to, they've not gone out to start waiting until they get jobs. They've learned something and they are putting it into use, which is very, 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 very good. The scale is still um, on a low scale, which is very, very good so that they, with, they can learn from their experience and move. So I am hoping that soon they would increase their level of production. We want to expand, we want to go as far as producing what Ife or Shun State will consume. We understand that there is no uh, big farm that does vegetables in Oshun State. If they are able to get more, they can mechanize. They need financial support and, um, like I said, mechanization. In the last five months of um, Emados Farms, we have actually faced quite a lot of challenges, of course. Uh, it's a battle, actually, because sometimes after you have planted, you are expecting that, okay, you just go to your pumping machine, start it, and you start running. Or well, sometimes you get there, you start, you want to start it, and the team will tell you, I'm not working. You have to call an engineer from town, pay the TFA, and still pay for their service. And not only that, uh, we have the major challenge we are facing is the labor challenge. Sometimes you bring uh, workers, they will give you condition before they even work. And after working, you will still pay them, they will tell you, eh, we don't want to do this part. And uh, another challenge which we have overcome is marketing. We, we, before we started, before we ventured into the business, we went to several markets just to understand what they are doing. They went to Lagos, went to Yanova, we went to My12 and some other fruit markets in Lagos. We also went to Ibadan to study the market. And here in Ife, we went as far as going to almost all the Aosa people just to know what it is. Don't worry about with him, it's collab. And people say you want more than don't worry about the food because don't worry about the food sometimes. It is square, but that don't worry about with him. It's good. The cucumber we are about with him. So people say it's good. Well, when me say I am very happy with that. Our country now, we are facing serious uh, food insecurity crisis. So we need more young people to enter into this business so that there could be abundant uh, production. Wants everybody to join, to come. We are also looking out for investors because agricultural, agriculture needs funds. If they are able to get more, they can mechanize. Yes, they can mechanize. They can also get more hands, train more, more students. As I said, we have more youths. Train more youths and create job opportunities. Thank you to Access Premium for having great impact in the life of these youths. Thank you to Access for giving the opportunity to them. Thank God they are graduates. I want to use this medium to appreciate Access Bank for giving us this support. I think the support is all we needed to even start. Without that support, we, we could have not started at all. We would have said, okay, let's go and do a work and get fund and also. But with this support, we're able to push, go out and start something. So I want to really appreciate Access Bank 
for organizing the Access Premier and I want to appreciate God because I was a beneficiary. So that really helped me to inf uh, inform my friends that let's do this thing. We already have a little capital. Let's go out. And really, I want to also say that we need more. We need more of this for young people that are already doing it. Yeah. So just to encourage us more and to help us to scale. Access more than banking.